Now to a News 5 investigates follow up. You may remember a tow truck driver took a woman's car mm -hmm. right out of her own carport believing her registration had expired. But Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross discovered the registration was current and now the state investigating whether MNS towing went too far. The tow truck company has refused to issue a refund, but a viewer who saw our story decided to make things right. Eric with a follow up tonight. Robin Elizabeth, good evening. Our original investigation into predatory towing practices had many of you fired up on social media. Now, while police have to verify whether your car has expired tags before writing you a ticket and even give you a 30 day grace period to renew, tow truck drivers do not have to follow that rule. In fact, if they simply believe your car may not have current tags, they can legally come onto private property and take it, no questions asked. Pamela Goddard called News 5 Investigates for help after MNS Towing took the family car in the middle of the night. A tow receipt showed it was impounded at 12.48 a.m. on May 2nd. The tow truck driver had marked the vehicle unregistered. The News 5 Investigates found this was false. Pamela had renewed her registration on April 30th, the month that expired, but simply didn't have enough time to change the tags as she's been caring for her dying husband. He's in hospice at home. He has prostate cancer, but it's spread and now his liver's uh, failing. To make matters worse, MNS Towing refused to give Pamela her car back until she paid them $229. I tried to reach out to the tow company's owner, Sergio Cornejo, to get his side of the story. He refused to call me back. However, a woman who identified herself as a manager told me no refund will be given. But a viewer who saw our story called me and wanted to donate $300 to Pamela. This afternoon, I returned to the mobile home park to give her the money. After our story aired, we had a viewer contact us. He wants to remain anonymous, but he was so disgusted by what this tow truck company did to you and your family. He wanted to make things right. Oh. And so, here I have... $300 for you, the cost of the tow bill, plus a little bit extra to take care of your husband. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Uh, I, I would say, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. It's good to know there's good people out there, and I really appreciate what you've done for me. And of course, the real person to thank here is that anonymous viewer. He works on Peterson Air Force Base but asked that we not share his name. He simply wanted to do a good deed. As far as the tow company is concerned, the state's Public Utilities Commission confirms they have an active investigation. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. Wow, that was pow powerful. Thank you to that viewer. If you have a problem or issue you'd like Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross to check out, send an email to news5investigates at koaa.com or call our tip line 719-228-6275.